Hi Gemini, I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. So this is going to be a general love reading for April 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is a general reading, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. That is perfectly okay. If you would like, you can book a personal reading with me and you can find all that information in the description box. Also keep in mind that because this reading is general, it also means that the rules can be reversed. All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on with you in April? All right, for the situation, we have the Five of Cups crossed by the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so there is some grief that somebody is feeling here, some sadness possibly, a sense of loss, um, maybe even guilt. And if it is guilt, it's guilt for not having been able to give, not being able to give as much as they would have wanted or as much as the other person would have wanted. Um, definitely feels like there's an imbalance here when it comes to give and take. Um, let's see for you, we have the Knight of Wands, the Fool, and the Nine of Wands. All right, Gemini, so you're moving. Um, there's definitely movement in on your side of things. You're moving in a particular direction. I feel like this movement might be a little bit, or it might feel to be a little bit impulsive maybe a little bit fluctuating, maybe a little bit in and out, um, moving in a certain direction, not even really knowing where you're going, but just kind of going. This is what I'm getting here. Um, and I feel like that kind of leaves you feeling like things are hard. And it it's interesting because, again, I feel like there's this fluctuation where you know you're feeling this drive, to, yeah, 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 I need to go in this direction. Um, and then you go in that direction, but then all of a sudden it feels hard. It's like you're either met with resistance, possibly by your own self or just by things that happen externally. And so that can make it quite challenging for you to deal with. So I have no idea what this is about. Um, Hopefully it will clear up when we clarify, but let's see for this other person here. We have the Queen of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. All right, so this is a person who does have a lot of love for you. With this Queen of Cups, um, the emotions are definitely there. Not only that, they really feel for you. Um, I feel like this is somebody who does have a lot of compassion for you. So I don't know who this is. Um, but at the same time, there's this, this energy of rejection here. So I don't know if they're feeling rejected by you or if they have made you feel rejected um, in some way. And it could even be both. It could be both. It could be that, you know, maybe this is somebody who... Maybe this is the person who is not giving to you as much, although again, it could be the other way around. Um, and then it's possible that because of that, you may have turned your back to them. So that's one scenario here. Or this person just feels like, you know, you were not as stable because I don't see you being very stable here. And it's not necessarily bad, it's just, you know, that's just your energy that's coming through. And maybe you have your reasons. Um, but either way, I see this as them feeling, feeling this rejection in some way from you. And then at the same time, we have this Eight of Cups. So there's something that they are emotionally detaching from here. I do feel like it has to do with you, but without that, without that necessarily meaning that that they're um, detaching from the way that they feel about you. I see it more of detaching from this Five of Pentacles energy, from the rejection, kind of like being able to understand why you may have rejected them. It's like they're understanding why you're not so stable. So I hope that makes sense. Um, 
And because of that, they're able to detach from this really, you know, negative um, psychological state of feeling rejected. For the potential outcome, we have the Seven of Wands. Okay. So I feel like somebody is just really putting up their, their setting up their boundaries. We'll see. We'll see what that's about. Let's clarify this, Gemini. It looks interesting. So let me see that Five of Cups with the Six of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, something was moving very slowly here. That's the thing. Somebody was moving slowly here. And if for a lot of you, it could be the other person. It doesn't really matter. Things were just, um, they were moving, but moving pretty slowly. So again, yes, it does come in as somebody not giving as much as the other person would want. Um, there was a lot of waiting here that was involved, even though there was a lot of desire for this. So whoever it is that was not giving as much, it wasn't because of a lack of desire. There's something else at play here and I feel like that's not what's important, so it's not really showing up at the moment. Um, it's going to be different for each of you anyway. Um, the point is, is that, yes, the desire was here, but somebody was not able to give on a practical level and because of that, um, there's been a lot of waiting, things were progressing slowly and now, there's this grief. Mostly I'm seeing it from the other person, but of course it could also be you because of all of this. So let me see the Knight of Wands for your energy. Okay, and we have the Six of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Okay, the roles can definitely be reversed um, for a lot of you watching this, um, this reading. Um, yeah, because I'm seeing here, it looks like you, there's this back and forth, you know, like one minute kind of being maybe a little bit aloof, wanting to move away from this connection because it was creating some kind of conflict for you, or maybe because it was painful. And then on the other hand, also giving to this. Also, you know, like showing some signs of affection or some signs of emotion, you know, it's like there's both, both of these things. Um, so that's why I feel like, you know, you're moving in a particular direction, but then you might change your mind. It might, it, you know, like you might move towards this person and then you might be like, nah, forget it. You know, I'm going to move away from this. And so there's, there's that. And that's why it's coming off as being a little bit impulsive, like not really thought out. Let's see the Fool. The Ten of Swords and the Hermit. Okay, so Virgo energy showing up here. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you move in a particular direction. For some of you, this might even be um, moving towards other other options. Um, but again, it, it comes off as being a little bit impulsive. And again, I'm not judging that, like, you know, it might serve its purpose, right? Um, but again, it, it's coming in as, well, then, you know, that didn't work out and so then you know you might feel a little bit like you want to withdraw again to your own self or go back to this connection so that's that's what I'm getting here it's like there's a lot of back and forth or like trying something new or you know maybe maybe even dating other other people and then it just like not really working out with that ten of swords um, and then just you know kind of going within but with the hermit being here to me this is telling me that you are learning a lot from this experience. Um, it's like you're discovering things about your own self, you know, like what, what you do want, what you don't want. As well as deeper, having deeper insights. 
So yeah, it does serve a purpose. It's just good to be aware of, you know, um, our own energy here. Okay, before I see that last card, let me take a look a little bit at this person's energy. Let's see the Queen of Cups. The Five of Pentacles again. Um, and the Sun. Again, this is somebody who feels like they could have a lot of um, happiness with you. They see you as being the person for them. They're seeing you as their son, as their truth. There's a lot of love here, but, but they're also feeling rejected. They're feeling rejected, they're feeling alone, they're feeling um, abandoned. And I do feel like it's because of, you know, the energy that you are in, that we just talked about. Um, let's see that Five of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups and the Five of Swords. Yeah, wow. So, I mean, this... Uh, they may or may not be right about this because a lot of things are just a matter of perception. Again, with this Ace of Cups, I mean, the love here, it's just being emphasized over and over and over again that this person feels for you. Um, they're feeling betrayed at the moment by, by you. And again, like I said, it doesn't mean that you really are betraying them. Maybe, maybe not. It's going to be different. This is their perception. It's like they're feeling like they're just getting stabbed, basically. Yeah. <laughs> just look at this image. This is how they're feeling, like this carrot about to be sliced. Let's see, where are we? Yeah, let's go back up to you real quick. Let's see that nine of wands. For you. The King of Swords and the Hierophant. Okay, so this is good because this is showing me that you are moving towards, um, even though your, um, your behavior at the moment might be a little bit all over the place, um, you know, it's, it's like, you're, it's like trial and error. That's what I'm getting here. That's what you're doing. It's like trial and error, but you're learning a lot through that. And it's an experience that is serving you, okay? Um, and it's helping you to move towards more, more stability. It's not an easy path, that's for sure. I feel like with this Nine of Wands, like, like by the time you get to this Nine of Wands, which actually is coming up, um, <laughs> all right, in this reading, um, you know, you, you might feel like you, okay, you know what? I have gone through so much. I have, I have tried this, I have tried that you know, this didn't work, but then you're getting to this point where you are like this king of swords, like, and, and the hierophant, like very wise. So you are learning a lot. And it's because of that wisdom that you are gaining that it is taking you to a more stable place and being more grounded in your own beliefs and what it is that you truly want and what truly resonates with your higher being. So, And whether it be with this person or somebody else, you know, that's that's a different story. So let's see this Eight of Cups for them, which is their final card here. The Nine of Pentacles and the Hanging Man. All right, so yeah, this person is, is able to move away from this feeling of a rejection and the reason why is because through this through this experience for them they're gaining a lot of a lot about their own sense of self-worth they're learning about a lot about their own selves and how to be self-reliant how to be independent so it's like what you're doing it not only serves you it was also serving them even if that's not your intention, even if you don't really care, it 
there was a purpose for it. A lot of the things that happen to us, it's also to serve other people and vice versa, right? Like a lot of things that other people do or, you know, that they're also learning from, it also serves a purpose for us, right? Especially when there's pain. So I feel like that's what's happening with this, this particular person. There's pain here involved. They're feeling rejected. They're feeling um, abandoned by you, regardless of what may have happened prior, okay? Um, but through that, they're learning how to be more independent and how to really bring forth their sense of self-worth in, in a positive way. Because a lot of times um, when we have a low sense of self-worth, it can play out in a very negative way. So where we might mistreat others because of our own lack of sense of self-worth. So if this person was mistreating you, for example, and this is just an example, it doesn't have to be, um, it could have been due to a, a sense of low self-worth. Okay, so I see that being something that they are learning. And so they are moving away from these feelings of rejection. So they might still, they're still hung up on you, okay, with the hanging man here. I see them still, still being here, still having that door open, still wanting this, but in a more healed way. All right, so let's see this final card here. Let's see the Seven of Wands for the potential outcome for April. All right, we have the Tower. Ooh. Temperance and the Eight of Swords. Okay, yeah, so there are major major revelations here that are happening um, and it's a lot of healing like it's this tower where things are just going to really peak I feel like things get really really intense before this sense of peace comes into play so with that tower though is also this eight of swords which can create a lot of anxiety a lot of fear a lot of over analyzing overthinking either for them or even for the both of you. Um, but temperance is here to balance that out. So I still see there being some boundaries or some guardedness between the two of you. I feel like this person, you know, might have a little bit of a self-defense mechanism towards you because they have felt hurt. And that you are, you know, you're wiser, you're learning your lessons, but you might also kind of have your guard up for them. What's important though is that you're both, you're both healing though. So, yeah, interesting reading, Gemini. <clears throat> All right, so if this resonated, let's see the final message for you. And... We have friendship. Seek out your soul family. Surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time socializing. Yeah, seek out your soul family. Very important to have the right people um, surrounding us. Um, for a lot of you, this might even represent a friendship with this person for the time being rather than it being a full-blown love connection, okay? So just take this message however it resonates for you. All right, Gemini, thank you so much for watching. Much love.